In this video, I'd like to share my Raspberry Pi 5 setup. This includes components such as the Raspberry Pi 5 that is enclosed in a Pi Iron Man 5 casing. And then I have also have other modules here attached that includes the um, USB microphone and speaker, a 4.3 inch LCD display here, and an 8 megapixel camera. Um, the case also includes two RGB fans, uh, an SSD to boot up the Pi, and an ice tower cooler. I'll show you those components in a minute. Um, so, looking at the side here, we have a small LCD screen here that displays the status of the system and a push button that allows us to turn on or off the Raspberry Pi 5. Okay. Uh, this is the screen, very responsive touch screen here. However, I also have a a mini keyboard that's attached via USB that allows me to control the Raspberry Pi 5 and it also allows me to write Python scripts or other programs. Um, so on this other side here it shows the accessible ports. Uh, very useful. These are the ports from the Raspberry Pi 5 and the GPIO IO pins are exposed and if I turn this over you can see I have the speaker at the back here I will send I will Describe the components I've used in more detail in the description below. Turn off. Turning off the Pi will look like this. And that's it. So this is an example application deploying the Raspberry Pi as a surveillance camera. Um, right now I have this web server written in Python that, display, that deploys the application in a local network. However, it's possible to access this web server um, publicly if the uh, IP address is port forwarded. Um, so basically this web server right now shows the uh, time information, the date and the time. Uh, also um, it allows you to log in and log out. Log out. And this is the camera view. And other functionalities that allows you to start recording, stop recording, taking it, take a picture and viewing the files that have been saved. Now I will show you how to access this web server from any device, any device such as uh, my phone. Uh, so to access the local server is possible within any device connected to your local network. Um, so basically to access it, you just need to type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. And then the port that's forwarded, that uh, forwards the web server. In my case, it's 5000.
Oh, uh, need the HTTP in front of it. So now, um, it requests to lo it requests your login information at the start. And then once you've logged in and authenticated, you can access the surveillance camera. Um, yeah, as described before, it, uh, it allows you to start, um, stop the video, take a picture and view the files, and it shows the date and the time. And then you can log back out to the main page. So this is an example of the Raspberry Pi 5 deploying a um, home, home assistant, a virtual home assistant. Um, right now this is also coded in Java. Uh, the main application, the uh, web service is coded in JavaScript, HTML and CSS, and the startup service is coded in Python. Uh, so here's an example of it. Uh, hello? I am currently not uploaded. I am starting my processes and I will see to it immediately. Mm, yeah, lots of tune up still, but. How may I be of service? Um, what time is it? In Calgary, the time is 7.07 p.m. Uh, what's the date right now? It is currently Saturday, November 23rd, 2024. What's the weather? What's the weather? I have regarded this task as having the highest of priorities. What's the weather right now? In Calgary it looks like on Saturday is minus 11.7 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies throughout the day with a chance of snow throughout the day. A high of minus 10.1 degrees and a low of minus 12.2 degrees Celsius. There is a 100% chance of rain. Okay, um, any news updates? Written by McKenna Kelly, news influencers have eclipsed traditional media more and more Americans are getting their news from influencers on the internet. Okay, thanks. I am to please. Okay, bye for now. That should do the trick. Bye. It was a pleasure talking to you. So that's the uh, applications that it completes the applications for the demo purposes that I have so far. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks. Thanks for watching.